Good morning, everybody. It's March 1st. It's minus 25 degrees Celsius. I just walked about a half a mile because uh, the road's all blocked in way, way over there, which I would have shown you guys in the last video for the North Farm update. The RM never keeps my road open. So I just made it as far as I, farther, as far as I could. And now I sure hope that this tractor starts. Probably won't. Yes, it has a basco, only works half the time. No, it's not on auto because I haven't been up here in the last week. And no, we don't have power. Not yet. Oh, I bet you this thing's not gonna go. I'm wasting my time. And I got a whole canola today. So the road isn't open. Tractor probably won't start. And I got a whole canola today. So we'll go plug this thing twice. There's a go plugs right down there. Oop, right there. I'm gonna shut that door because that wind's cold. The only good thing we got going for us is it was not minus 25 yesterday. I think it was only like minus 10. So it's only getting colder now. So that's the only silver lining here, you guys. So it's been about a week, I think, since I've been up here. Run it off the starter. Hold the starter. Just run it off that starter. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay going. Come on. It's not going very good yet. Woo! Man, it's probably gonna kick in the hydraulics. Kill the engine. I have the clutch pushed in to assist. I know I need a new zipper. Things are things are bad around here. Um, this is super good news. So stinking happy about that. You have no you have no idea how happy I am. Now I just hope we don't throw up a death code. Did I tell you that my truck just threw up a death code? Yeah, I did. No, I don't think I told you guys that actually, but I did. It threw up a death code. So that's nice. So we're gonna let this tractor warm up, and I'm just gonna sit in it turn on my heated seat and try to warm up with it because I'm not walking another half mile back to my truck to sit in that just to walk all the way back again. So we're gonna let's warm up and then we're gonna go try to open up a road. So I'm just moving a little bit of snow in here and right around the shop here first. to float. I always go too far and I put the loader in float. Such a pet peeve of mine. So I'm working kind of fast here, trying to get done some of this high priority stuff so that I can get into the shop. I gotta be able to get to the auger. 
um, because I actually don't trust the tractor. I feel like it's just going to derate me. I just that's what I feel at some point. And you can go all day. It can derate you at the end of the day when everything's nicely thawed out. But uh, so I'm just trying to get a bunch of this high priority stuff done. You would think the road in would be pretty high priority, but <laughs> and it is. But just working right around here first. And then we're gonna go down to that road. The fuel low pressure is too low. That can't be a good sign. I told you something, I told you something's gonna happen. That's why I'm just trying to get the bare necessities done here. We're heading down to that road. Bust open up. Hopefully get through here. Man, I got so much work to do in snow removal up here, it's not even funny. Like, I've got feet. Feet! But, I'm getting a little bit more prepared. Uh, we have a blade that we can try out. I don't know if we'll get to it today or not, but... Uh, right now, we're just going to just open up a bit of a path here. We get our trucks in before our tractor quits us. hard snow bank there. Whoops, sorry about that. edge here a little bit. Get over there. Uh-oh. Now fuel rail pressure is too high. Just don't quit me. You better not quit me. That's all I have to say. Okay, I gotta go. I can't record and try and move this snow as fast as possible before my tractor quits. Oh! Oh, it died. And we're not all the way down the road. A truck and trailer are down there. Great. Fuel pressure too high, fuel pressure too low. Oh, that's just a GPS one. Mike, what are you running in here for fuel? Winter fuel. Mike, maybe the fuel filters are plugged. Normally it would tell you if your fuel filters are plugged. But either way, that's probably where we would start. Not that I have any. Well, maybe we can restart it and get this road open. Open the door so I can hear the tractor. This is very unfortunate. We'll wait till it actually cycles this power here. I guess this might take a while. Sign. There it is. Oh, ramming speed here. Please stay running. 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 We have to, absolutely have to get this road unplugged. Maybe I should turn my brake off. That's handy because we all know that the RM isn't going to do it. 
So the trick is, is you want to open up the road but not take off your gravel. We better get some speed up by the look of it here. We're going to need it. So you just want to gently... Oh, that's deep. Oh, we're running out of power. And I don't mean that because... I mean that because my tractor wants to die. Really? Come on! That's all we got. Come on! I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to try and get it off to the side, I guess. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. Gonna need a better run at this. Okay. Ramming speed. Oh, I'm running out of power again. Come on. This is bad. bucket this I guess normally I could push through this but I guess my tractor is saying no not gonna happen today so we'll just try and keep bucketing it and dump it off over here dang I have a lot of feelings right now. I'll keep them to myself. Come on!